jib season two episode two click board <laughs> so jib is trying to find an american 25 to 35 years old as a driver assistant lowish salary don't know what for the tribe hasn't explained it properly the elders and the tribe are due they're all coming over to thailand jib still hasn't found his american oh, how hard is it hmm tribe arrive of course they all come straight to her condo two bedroom pile in there's about eight of them <laughs> and it's great to see them all but of course jib's got a thousand questions she's uh wasp she wants to know but she can't maybe she can't talk in front of the younger tribe about this because she wasn't told about it until she passed the certain apprenticeship so she waits she just girls are going off to sell their bodies finds herself alone with the elders and they go off to a nice restaurant and chips starts quizzing and the elders are will gonna introduce you to a Thai family who are very 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 rich we do work for them uh, let's say we're in the supply industry to them we're going to introduce you on this trip chips okay the elders say all will become apparent take your time relax it sounds like the star wars and uh, yoda and the teaching teaching Luke Skywalker slow down a couple of days pass they've done all their party and the, all the younger tribe are still off selling the bodies buying gold the two elders a bit cheesed off that Jeep hasn't found an American or a driver and hasn't even bought a car yet anyway they take Jib to uh, Pat Pong and they go in through the market through all the bars down a little side street and there's a a go-go bar Chips thinks what are we doing here and they go in the front door of the go-go bar past all the foreigners and the girls dancing down to the back through the curtain and there's a little room there where the girls are getting changed before dancing on stage and then to the side is a door it's like a secret door <laughs> up some stairs and they come through to the top of the stairs another door and they open this door and there is a huge room with pillars in the room but it's all open plan beautiful seats and settees and but at the end is a very large desk with a big picture behind it's just like the mafia movies and there's an old Thai guy sat there well 50 years old behind the big desk and to the side is a smaller desk with a Thai lady similar age but her desk is smaller than the guys it's got that godfather feel darkish room big pictures all the way around the room leather settees and oh what is all this and the elders go in and the old guy and the lady the lady's called Lek the old lady the guy I have no idea but the old lady's Lek she seems to be the boss wears the trousers even though he's got the bigger desk they all hug and say hi and then the elders introduce Jib to the man and Lek and they've already spoken to Lek many times about Jib obviously because Lek knows all about Jib and the fact that the elders have brought her means that Lek can trust her everything's fine no need for to be on ceremony anyway they all move over to the side and sit down on this settee and it's a coffee table and another settee f facing and they the lek has a little 
bell or something that she's ringing and in comes somebody from downstairs bringing drinks it's just like a 007 film secret room above the go-go bar yeah and they have a few drinks and they just make small talk and basically Lek is just she's just eyeing up Jib and looking her up and down Jib's clothing isn't quite right she hasn't gone up market she's sort of middle market her clothing and she points out to the elders that Jib ought to uh, have some better attire and better jewellery uh, for the role that she will be involved with. Role. Anyway, they have a couple of drinks and then Lek says to the elders and Jib, we'll see you at the weekend at our house for a party. Hmm, that sounds good. Jib's like, okay, what are we doing here? Is this it? Elders and Jib say goodbye. Off through the door, down the stairs, through the go-go bar. Into the middle of Pat Pong. Don't know exactly where that bar and secret door is, but it's in the middle of Pat Pong. Elders and Jib head off. Back to the condo. And this is like a Thursday and the elders say to Jib tomorrow we'll go out we need to change your image Lek has pointed out you need to now move up a class in Thai stature in the culture you need to be seen as wealthy with the right image because you are going to be our spokeswoman our contact our liaison officer you're going to be handling our Thai arm of our business. Why are the elders in the UK and they're working in a little cafe stroke wholesale shop when they could be living it up in Thailand? It doesn't make sense. What's, why would they? I don't know. Puzzles me, puzzles me that. Next day, the elders, Siam Square and other nice shops in Bangkok, and Jib spends a fortune on lots of clothes. It takes all day and all evening, Thai women and buying clothes, the whole day. And they're eating, of course, every hour, maybe a drink in between. But Jib has got a lot of clothes that day. Back to the condo. All the younger girls are all still off selling their body, getting gold, as they do. Saturday morning comes. Again, the youngsters are all off. They're instructed to just go and do what they want. And they're not really staying at um, Jib's condo because they're out with customers and playing around and just partying. Saturday morning, late morning, about 11 o'clock, um, Jib gets a phone call from security downstairs saying there's a car uh, there for her. And as expected, the elders knew a car would come. Um, and they're all dressed up. It's quite a hot day. Downstairs, nice Mercedes S-Class. Two elders get in the back. Jib gets pushed into the front <laughs> and it's a uh, chauffeur driven it's not a taxi it's a chauffeur driven Mercedes of course black <laughs> off they go uh, 25 miles outside of Bangkok over sort of towards Patea but then further across towards Cambodia. Don't know the location, don't know the town, it's near. No idea, it's just over there. Quite a quiet area, not many houses, it's outside of a village. On the main road, there's a turning, a driveway, a lane. All tarmac, all nice. 
car turns in, goes down this road, land either side, just green land and rice fields, and it's just nothing, it's not a farm or anything, it's just land. No houses in sight. Down this path for maybe this road for maybe a kilometer. And as they get down, suddenly lots of very tall, beautiful, thin, like landi type trees. Big, a big wall of trees and two huge pillars with an electric gate. Car comes closer. There's a guy outside. Just like in a little shed, there's a guy, security, stops the car. There's cameras, it's just like a movie star's front of their house. Gate opens, down the road, trees, but behind there it's just, it, it's not green there though, it's all like sand, very light dusty sand as far as the eye can see. Further ahead, just trees going down, you guessed it, it's like Monaco, the, the fountain roundabout with the, the gravelish drive circle and a house, not that big at the front but quite big. They pull round and the front is, is just, it's just like it's got pillars and it's, it's, it's as if it's been plucked out of, out of a movie. Like an American medium mansion dumped in the middle of Thailand. The car pulls round to the front, they all get out through the front doors and it's grand inside, big opening, staircase either side going upstairs and rooms, it, it, it wouldn't be out of place in the UK or in a movie, in America, you get this, it's huge. There's people mulling around, they're sort of little jackets they give to this servant and they walk through and they're beckoned into a bigger drawing room lounge at the back. There's 30, 40 people in there, very smartly dressed. 95% of the people in there are Thai. There's the odd Farang, but rich Farang, with a Thai wife, just a few. And everyone's got lovely champagne glasses or wine glasses, all dressed well. This is all new to Jib, you know. Come on, she started in a beer bar in Chiang Mai. Um, and now she's in this palatial mansion. There's food everywhere, there's servants, waiters coming round, offering food and drink to everyone. They make their way through this crowd, and elders spot Lek, and Jib spots Lek. Lek, Lek comes over, the Thai lady, the elder, says hello and everything. Tells them to enjoy themselves, enjoy the food, enjoy the drink, have a chat later. And they go out the big conservatory doors and there's one section of grass, perfectly manicured grass with a swimming pool in the middle. And there's about 20 girls, Thai girls, scantily dressed. I think just playing around the poolside and in the pool, just for the pleasure to look at maybe I don't know <laughs> so the one side is this strange structure from this side it's like a boat an old wooden boat stuck into the ground but as you walk around it it's a jacuzzi splash pool with a little bit of a drinking and bar at the end all lovely carved and built into this boat structure oh so much money sat here Anyway, Jib, the elders, they chat around people, talk, and Jib keeps saying to the elders, what, what's happening? What is all this? I still don't understand. You've introduced me to this lick. You've brought me to what looks like a house. What is happening? And the elders, they sit down at the table. We're gonna tell you a little bit more. We've been working with Lek for four or five years. Lek has apartments, businesses with her husband all over Asia. We supply uh, foreigners 
to oh, it's 15 minutes again we'll leave it there i'll see you on the next one you can't leave it there